Hey guys, it's Trigurus here, and this is the cliff map. And I, I didn't do video um, yet from this from the southern side of the cliff. I already have a couple of video from the northern base, and I showed you about the position. I showed you position in E4 behind the uh, behind the, the hill where you can snipe and shoot hidden from artillery fire or safe from a rather safe from artillery fire now on this side again uh, the idea is the same you know guys already which place we never go the noob line line one and two don't go there um, enough puppies will waste the battle time on that uh, along those lines now we're going uphill and right now, stop right here. This is where I started getting pissed. Well, kind of pissed. It's a game. I don't really seriously get pissed. So it looks like, and check XVM2. Have four green players. And guess what? All green players go up the hill. Where the rest of the team is going? The rest of the team is going to the noob line. And when I see that, it already kind of feels that, all right, this battle is going to be, well, if not lost already, but very tough to win. And right now, I don't know what to do. So I know I will have very little support here, right? Mm. And I'm thinking, okay, uh, in order for me not to die fast, I probably would should go to the uh, Lighthouse Hill. I don't really like Lighthouse Hill, to be honest, and going there as a scout, because, alright, you went there, you uh, spotted few enemies, and then what? You see the rest of the battle on that uh, hill, trying not to get shot. Because most of the scouts, uh, they don't have gun depression good enough, like, you cannot really shoot well down, and if you can, then your enemy can see you, and they kill you rather quickly. But... In this battle I decided to go, because I don't have much support, I only have a few tanks helping me here. So, alright. Here I'm going hill. And I'll fail miserably at this. So I have FCM. And I thought, that th I, first I thought FCM go is the, the position where I like to go. So I'm going hill, and I got stuck here. Bad driving skills. And then boom, I got hit by FCM. And then, boom, I got hit again, and again, and again, and I decided, uh-oh, I need to slide down. And I have 67 health points left. And I thought, alright, this is it. Uh, we have a bunch of noobs going line 1 and 2, and um, what I'm going to do here. Well, right now, at least, I, I've got to be useful and do the, at least some damage, so I decided, alright. Um, I don't know why VK, well, I know why VK came here, he wanted to spot RT, but it's very dangerous what he's doing, because, you know, there are guys in the middle here, can shoot his side easily, and uh, I emptied my drum on him, uh, so, and uh, there's MCM came there too, two tanks to spot RT, pretty bad idea again because if CM already saw what happened to VK and he's a green player he's supposed to be a good player uh, but he, that was a dumb move now uh, here's my thinking my thinking is is that artillery right now is mostly concentrated enemy artillery shooting line one and two uh, my job right now is to to stay alive for as much as I can and try to light enemy here in the squares E5 and E6. Oh, and then shoot where I can. And I really need to be in the ninja mode here most of the time. So I'm looking what I can do with T20. I don't see him. I'll need to pull up. When I pull up, I will light that T29. I got stuck a little. 
I'm going to lie to 29. And Tiger 2, I didn't know Tiger 2 was here, so I'm pulling back right away. I don't want them to shoot me, I don't want artillery. Shoot me, I want to disappear from the map. How do I know it disappeared? Well, because uh, I, I, I don't see them. That means they don't see me. And not on the radar. So right now, although I saw a good opportunity, T29 behind the rock and Tiger 2 is showing his weak side. So that's a good opportunity to empty the entire load I have. And pull back. Now I see tanks um, circumventing the lighthouse mountain. I cannot stay here. If I stay here, uh, they'll kill me. So I need to go actually on the other side of the mountain. And there's still T-59. And I need to keep one eye on AMX on top of the hill. So there's a heavy tank already. That's Luwe, an object. They went around the mountain. Uh, that route around the mountain, uh, Lighthouse Mountain, is better than Noob Line. But again, um, on the cliff map, the middle of the map this decides the battle destiny. Going all the way around, I also uh, rarely, rarely, rarely do that. Now, so what? They yeah, they won over there. Now they they are moving, and uh, now I can shoot them. them. And I don't think he's. I don't have a success. Six cents. Uh, I think now he can see me. Object seven oh four actually spotted me. Because I was behind double bush when I was shooting Luva. Uh, but when object move, um, he saw me. But that when I, that's when I got spotted, most likely. But again, I don't have on on this crew American tank. Uh, it's new light tank. I don't I don't have a good crew yet. It's about 98 percent on his first perk skill. So and that's how we win the battle. What I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to spot the remaining tanks and artillery for for my team. And as you see, those guys who are staying in line 1 and 2, they're still there. They didn't move a bit. If we lost the hill here, this battle would be lost. Because they wouldn't be able to do anything to change the outcome. They were just sitting there all game long. They should be thankful we have a good artillery. So I'm trying not to go on their circle. Because I don't want enemy to know where I am. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I get to the edge here, artillery. Yep, there, there it is, artillery. And we can... He just shot. So he won't be able to reload, and the second game is over. Post battle stats are coming. And here are post game stats. Uh, I got Ace Tanker. It took me a while to get Ace Tanker on T71. It's a good tank, so um, takes a lot of experience to get Ace Tanker, as well as I got Scout on this battle. And now a little clip. I just want to show you <laughs> how disproportional amount of damage. Uh, am along among the team. So check this out. So I have first, second, third and fourth player did more than 3000 damage each. We had really good RT in this game and the rest of the team they barely made thousands some of them and some of them uh, did pretty much nothing. And um, I bet you those are the players who are sitting in those line 1 and 2. And uh, check how much damage upon detection they did. Uh, most of them, none, again. Um, 
thanks to four good players, we won this battle. Oh, and Object 704 um, also was very helpful too, I must say. And uh, myself, I did 3,000 damage and 2,000 damage upon detection. And I'll see you in the next battle.